We all know Jeff Bezos is very rich, but wouldn't you love to know how long it would take him to, for example, earn your entire year's salary, tackle your entire student debt or pay off your mortgage? Well, guess what? Even Elon is not less than anyone. Recently, SpaceX has scored an early win in the billionaire race to space, after the US Air Force announced his Falcon rockets as one of two winners of a multi-billion dollar competition to replace Russian rocket technology. Well, let's have a look at both of these personalities and their regions. So the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, the richest person in the world, is only getting richer in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Even as tens of thousands of people die and millions more lose their jobs. But while his business is roaring thanks to millions of lockdown customers who rely on Amazon for their goods, maybe he is not quite on the verge of becoming the world's first trillionaire yet. And guess what? Social media lit up with angry speculation. Amid reports that the COVID-19 threat might actually push Bezos into trillionaire territory, a mind-blowing new stratum of wealth that no person has ever achieved. If Bezos keeps making money at his current pace, he could be worth $1 trillion by 2026. According to those reports, that's $1 million million for those who want to count the zeros. Just amazing. The reports all cite a single months old analysis by Comparison, a small business advice platform that based its prediction on some back of the napkin math. Essentially, it looked at how much its billionaire's wealth grew over the last five years, then assumed that rate of growth would steadily continue for the rest of their lives. That sort of math ignores the ups and downs of the global market and doesn't account for the fact that there are only so many customers in the world, meaning that at some point you run out of new people to buy your products. It also didn't account for the coronavirus pandemic, the sudden rise in Amazon demand, on the real life toll that the man has exacted on Bezos' warehouse employees, many of whom have complained that they are not adequately protected from the disease. In other words, he didn't account for real life and all of the wild swings that a company can go through, or the 38 billion that Bezos surrendered in his divorce last year. Bezos is currently the richest man in the world, with a fortune of about $143 billion, according to the live tracking Bloomberg Billionaire Index. That's well ahead of second place Bill Gates, the Microsoft founder worth $106 billion. Gates has largely stepped back from the billionaire tech race and now spends most of his time trying to develop life saving vaccines and technologies through his charity, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Bezos' fortune has had a bit of an up and down year, but the coronavirus lockdowns helped him ride from a low point of $105 billion in mid March up to his current $143 billion valuations, Bloomberg data shows. The data also shows that Bezos' wealth isn't on a steady train to trillionaire status. Bezos was the first billionaire to pass a $100 billion mark in 2017, and speculation has been rampant for years that he could one day be worth $1 trillion. A CNBC report in 2018 suggested that he could hit that goal if Amazon shares hit a value of $12,600 and if he held onto all of his stock. He has sold billions worth of stock since then, and Amazon shares were trading at about $2,359 on Thursday morning, according to Reuters. That's a surge of about 28% over the year to date, but it's still not close to making Bezos a trillionaire. Amazon has also pledged to pour about $4 billion back into the business this year to boost wages for warehouse workers, add more coronavirus testing, and increase cleaning efforts at its facilities. That could take a bite out of its overall value and slow Bezos' march to $1 trillion. Although many were quick to condemn the idea that Bezos might be a trillionaire, others applauded him as an unprecedented success story. Now moving on to Elon Musk. With the success of the Crew Dragon launch, NASA's collaboration with SpaceX has been one of the most game-changing alliances ever. Spearheading SpaceX is Elon Musk, an engineer, industrial designer, technology entrepreneur and philanthropist. Musk currently leads Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, The Boring Company and co-founded OpenAI. Being the CEO of four companies and the chairman of OpenAI, Musk generates a good amount of revenue. A good amount being an understatement with him being currently worth just over $40 billion. 40.4 just to be exact, and the number is on the rise. 
The success of each of these companies is propelling the income generated by the second. However, Elon Musk overtaking Jeff Bezos, who is sitting at a hefty net worth of 130 billion, seems like a far-fetched thought, let alone becoming a trillionaire. One thing should be taken into consideration. If Musk's future goals go according to plan, he could very well overtake anyone in time. But to reach the 1 trillion milestones, Musk needs to multiply his net worth estimate by a factor of nearly 24.7. He currently owns about 19% of Tesla and 54% of SpaceX, two of his largest breadwinners. According to his contract with Tesla, if the company reaches its coal market cap of $650 billion by 2028, the Tesla CEO will be owning about 30% of the company's shares. These will be worth about $196 billion. SpaceX would have to grow at an exponential rate and acquire a market cap 30 times larger than its current value to propel Musk into the League of Trillionaires. However, this isn't a very probable scenario. Though we know for the fact that Musk will become a trillionaire sooner or later, Tesla has been beating the previously dominant car manufacturers with these. Tesla is worth more than GM and Ford combined. It is currently the world's second largest auto company by value with only Toyota above it. The takeover is imminent and will happen within this decade, but that isn't enough to make trillions. Being ranked the 23rd richest person by Forbes, Elon has 22 competitors ahead of him with arguably more successful enterprises. The most probable candidate for the first trillionaire card would be Jeff Bezos. If his wealth continues growing at 34% a year, he could accomplish this as early as 2026. With the rising dependence on Amazon, its unprecedented success is expected. If not 2026, a conservative estimate would be 2030. Even then, no other billionaire would come close. So now that you know about Elon and Jeff Bezos, what do you think? Who's going to become a trillionaire? Are they both gonna do it or is only one gonna do it? We'll leave the answer to you guys. Comment down below and let us know what you think. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Hands up and comment down below about your favorite personality. And mention which part of the video was your favorite one. Also, what do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to drop your suggestions for our next video. We would definitely be happy to know them. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the Luxury Zone for future dope content. Hope to see you guys in our next video. Adios.